We're standing in Masnoma Plaza, and this is one of the most historic spots in California because it was here that the bear flag was ra raised, June 14, 1846, and California became an independent republic for about six weeks. Right over there is the monument, the bear flag. This is the largest plaza in the west. Over there is the visitor center. We're up here on the plaza, all nine acres of it. Right across the way from the Sonoma mission, which is the 21st and final mission. Once again, one of the reasons why this area is historic, there's only 21 missions and Sonoma is one of them. It was also one of the six Pueblos, our official cities. And over there is the military barracks. This is all state park. This was the main presidio for the west coast. Next to that is in the part of the museum, which is the Toscana Hotel, which where many of the original settlers visitors to the area stayed. Just actually, just down the way from here is a, an old inn where many of the uh, generals visited. Down that hallway right over there, that passageway goes back to uh, General Hooker's house. He was a Civil War general who uh, later was commandant here. He was known for all, he was very dashing and his camp was always followed by beautiful women and they became known as Hooker's Girls. So when you come to Sonoma, make sure you visit this corner. You see where the California Republic started. It's not just Texas was an independent republic. California was too. And it all started right here on this spot. I'm standing over here by the side of the mission, and this is actually the side that the chapel is in. Back here is the courtyard. You can actually see uh, some of the mission olive trees. They're actually from some of the original trees that were planted back here in the 1800s. And mission olives actually are only found in California. And this is really what I want to point out right there. This is a tribute, a memorial to the names of the Indians who worked and died here, serving in the mission. Uh, throughout California's 21 missions, this is the only mission that has a tribute to the Indians really quite a beautiful little place to visit. It's part of the state park when you go there. You can also visit here, which is the barracks for the soldiers, and also the General Vallejo home, which is just up the road. But La Crema de Montes, which was the spring on the hillside that later fed the town with water.